Welcome back to the Umbrella Academy, Episode 5, Valhalla. Got no idea what I'm in for. All I know is I'm doing the drinking game again because of one of my favorite subscribers, Miss V. Thank you for suggesting that I do it again for this one. So I'm gonna do it, even if it kills me. And today I will be drinking Bacardi, my favorite type of alcohol, which is a lot better than Fireball. Already, already they're hitting me with a song. <laughs> Damn it. I love that I get to see Pogo and, you know, Grace's old history and all that, but fuck, I didn't want to take a shot this quickly. This is like the first episode all over again. Cheers. Aww. I'm still terrified of apes and monkeys, but that's really cute. Just sending Pogo into his face. Aww. Poor guy. As terrifying as space is to me as well, um, I think it would be really cool. Just just one time in my life to be able to go up into space. It would be so surreal. Aw, oh, poor buddy. Oh, so this is just like what happened with Luther. And I'm assuming it's probably the same serum. Or at least a similar one, you know? Is that also how Pogo got super intelligent? I don't think so, right? Maybe it is. I don't know. Wait, is that what uh, Five said to him? Bloody act like one. Diego's not stupid. Diego, I, I, oh, come on, Diego. That's really? a bummer. You're just gonna walk away, Diego. <laughs> More like run away, but. <laughs> Class, if you're looking for an enabler, look elsewhere. Thank you, Bell's Allison. Your, in trouble. your rally turned into a riot. I, uh, excuse me. Got a girl. I've That's got what a I'm saying. And some much better booze. Uh, Allison. I'm gonna start day drinking. We should do it right. <laughs> Stop so enabling. <laughs> well, does she know that? Well, yeah, she definitely knew that he was at least an addict at one point. I don't know if she knows he ever got sober. But still, don't don't enable him, okay? <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Carl's back early. Oh my god. No, no, no. I don't, I don't, Dude, that I is way too many following. eggs for a single pan. What Those are you doing? Got no Hargreaves. I am your son. I don't know how well that's gonna work out. For instance, it is a near certainty that in the next few minutes, I am going to get another glass of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> I have a deep dislike of children. I do not have. Well, that never seemed to change, you fucking asshole. I, did, I would expect more from them than a scruffy face, poor hygiene, and your grotesque simian proportions. Thanks to you, dickhead. It took a bus. Uh, I don't care of you and get out of my house. What a fucking asshole. Like he was an asshole before he had kids. He was an asshole when he had kids. That's pathetic. Oh well. At least you didn't shank my ass. No. Uh, <laughs> shank your heart. Aw, he kinda did. It's time to get the Umbrella Academy back together. Hell Sounds yeah. good to me. Family meeting. Okay. Do we need to talk? No, she's married. <laughs> Dude. That's rough. Sick and tired of you not No. Sick and tired of having to fight for your goddamn attention. I still think Harlan might have powers or something. What the hell was that? You see, I feel like right there they're trying to make us think that Vanya did that. I think it was Harlan. I could be stupid and wrong, but I just get the feeling Making something right that has been wrong for a very, very long time. Just about done. What does that mean? Oh, are you just about done now? You've done a couple missions, now you know everything, huh? Is that it? Huh? Big Lila all in charge. Well, I would just like you to for once say what you're doing. Hard little slum. Chance to enjoy this ambrosia. Great. If we have some, will you shut up? Maybe. But did he say ambrosia? Because I'm not. Ugh. 
I'm with you, Luther. Nope. No, thank you. Oh, Sorry, there's some foods from the 60s that are just disgusting. What would you say you are on a skill from one to ending all life on this planet? <laughs> Diego, oh, that was kind of funny. Idiot, she's sorry. If, if that means anything, it does. Aww, just going through a lot right now. <laughs> oh shit! Everyone's together again. Oh, wow. I know this is impossible, but did we all get sexier? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. Oh, it's so sweet, so wholesome, such a nice, happy oh, moment right talk. here. Yeah. And again, no, how's it all so gonna go wrong? <laughs> Can never have a happy oh, moment for too sweet. long. No, unfortunately, ghosts can't time travel. Dude, don't be Are an you asshole. Me? Honestly, I feel like that's supposed to be a funny joke. That's not funny to me. Like, Ben has no way of communicating with them except through Klaus. I feel like that's a really shitty thing to be like, oh, he's not here. Uh, what was like, that? it's fucked up. Bye, Allison. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Don't be an asshole. At least the Swedish men are being nice to the cats. <laughs> Wouldn't they be kind of suspicious of the fact that it doesn't come in, like, the metal tube like it normally does? Oh my god, my cult is gonna be so pissed. Five, <laughs> I told him we had until 2019. We have until Monday. <laughs> we have six days. Is it Vanya? Klaus, what? Stop. It's usually Stop. Vanya. <laughs> what? It's usually Vanya. Diego's been stalking Lee Harvey Oswald. And you're working for Jack Ruby. <laughs> Alex and Jeff have been very involved in local politics. Okay, you started a cult. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm, I'm just a, a nanny on a farm. I don't have anything to do with all of that. Well, maybe you do. We just don't know it yet. Fair Listen enough. Ourselves. But Dad will. We need to talk to him before everyone... That may really be true. Dead. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> Did you even hear me, Luther? Yeah, yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, I did. I heard a 58-year-old man who still wants his daddy to come and fix everything. Oh, fuck well, you. you. count me out. Like, why? Literal end of the world. You guys don't know how to solve it, so you won't even go talk to the guy? What an asshole. Don't follow her. Five. It seems like a trap. Right now, Allison, tacos. Oh, that sounds Shouldn't we wait until all those guys? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I mean, it probably will take Luther and Diego a little while to bro it out. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's one of the saddest things we've ever had on this fucking show. That's exactly why I'm like, it's not funny that Klaus just pretends like he's not there. Like he wants to talk to his fucking family, and he can't even do that. Kinda looks like the Six Flags commercial guy. <laughs> with hair. Technically, uh, technically, if you have the words, use the word technically, you're already in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's kinda true. Can, can we focus? In secret okay. love with some farm frau. Her name's Sissy. Which is an improvement on her previous love interest, the serial killer. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm carrying a I actually forgot about that. Who knows about love? Is how to screw it up. Well, I mean, that's not entirely wrong. I'll take a shot with you guys. What? Cheers. I mean, all of it. Time travel, seeing the dead. How are we supposed to do with six days? Party. I mean, there's a lot you can do in six days. You can fall in love, get married. There you go. I don't want any secrets. Yeah, come on, get in here. <laughs> no, no, no. I just took a shot because I didn't think I would have to take one right after. Alright, next shot. Come on. Well, it seems pretty clear to me that the handler is just setting them up for something, but what is she setting them up for? I wouldn't step any further. Well, actually go for it. Oh, 
Oh shit! <laughs> Damn. All right. Well, he is very dead. Unless they're actually not like bad people. I kind of get the feeling we might find out that they're not all bad. No, another song already. Wait, it. Wait a second. Is this bad guy? Let's go. <laughs> Sick. I don't think I've seen a really good fight scene with Five before. What the hell? Hold up, does she have powers too? Because that's going to be kind of crazy. Ooh. You're better than I thought. Did you miss me, you little shit? <laughs> Uh -oh. I, I feel things the alcohol good. is no, hitting me. Grabs it up beer, girl. Oh shit! Where you get your own you damn beer? <sighs> that was less a slap on the ass, more a slap in the you face for Vanya. <laughs> you stole my house. Talking about leaving, honey. That was just morning talk. Oh Lies come on! To get through the damn day, we don't get to live our fantasies. Not with that attitude, shit. Maybe when you can remember what your real life was like, you'll feel less inclined to tell people how to live theirs. Oh, so fuck off. Life. That's, that's, that's a shitty thing to say. I know we're running out of time for you to be brave. What does that mean? Six, six days six. is what that means. Six days. Do you, you are not hitting me with another song already. On your way. Oh, wait, is this Adele? What is that? What is that? Oh. <laughs> it's just a foot. Wow, they're having like a real Viking funeral for this guy. Next shot, let's go. Oh, calm down. I feel like I'm gonna eat those words. I'm gonna be I'm gonna feel bad for these guys by the end of the season. Now uh, I've been doing a lot of thinking and all right, sweet. And I've decided. Tell him everything. Just lay it I'm on him. Tell you everything. Yes. Hmm. Oh, what? Well, not gonna lie, I don't think that episode was as good as the previous two or three episodes, but it was still pretty good, and uh, there were a lot of things that definitely piqued my interest. And I'm pretty sure I missed a song in there to take a shot to, so let me just take one more real quick. Cheers and make America gay again. So yeah, there was definitely a lot I liked about the episode, but I feel like it left a little bit to be desired, you know? Lila and Five storyline, I was very interested in. I really liked the fight scene with them. I really liked seeing any scene with Lila and the Handler, I think their relationship is actually very interesting. And even though Lila is like a full grown woman, it kind of seems like she's going through her teenage rebellious years right now where she's starting to question what her mom is telling her. So I'm interested to see how that plays out as the season continues because she obviously has feelings for Diego. I'm assuming she really, really wants to kill Five because I'm almost positive it was him that killed her parents. And there's just no way the Handler is being completely truthful with her. There's just no way. Honestly, this episode really pissed me off when it comes to Klaus. Not necessarily for the setback in terms of his sobriety. I mean, setbacks happen and I really hope that he finds his way back to being sober again. It's just the way he treats Ben genuinely kind of pisses me off. Like if he wants to be a little bit of a dick to him, you know, when it's just the two of them, siblings will be siblings. But for him to tell the rest of his family, like, oh, he's not even here. Like that's genuinely fucked up in my opinion. Especially with that last line where Ben was like, I missed you all so much. Like he just wants to talk to his fucking family and Klaus is just gonna be like, oh, he's not here. Like that to me is not funny. That was really fucked up. Feel free to tell me if I'm just being a sensitive asshole. <laughs> Allison in this episode also kind of frustrated me. I was really happy that she decided to tell her husband everything, even if she was 
drunk when she did it. I'm not exactly one to talk. I'm kind of drunk right now too. But her enabling Klaus and just letting him drink and drinking with him, like there's no way she doesn't realize that he's an addict and shouldn't be doing this stuff. But again, there is the chance that she doesn't realize that he ever got sober in the first place. I would really need to rewatch the first season again to confirm if she knows that or not, but I have a feeling she doesn't. Either way, if you have an addict in your family, encouraging them to drink with you is not exactly the best way to go about it. Vanya's storyline was also kind of frustrating, not because of Vanya, but just because of Sissy being unwilling to actually pursue their relationship and tell Carl what's going on. That being said, I understand uh, these kinds of things are complicated, especially back in the 60s. For one, you can't just get a divorce or leave your husband and have no consequences come from that. I mean, that's true even today, <laughs> but especially back in the 60s, that was very, very frowned upon. And on top of that, she's also engaging in a relationship with another woman, which that's super frowned upon back in the 60s. So I get where she's coming from. It just sucks to see Vanya finally find some real happiness person that she genuinely loves that's not her family and then to be just totally shut down the way she was in that last scene with sissy that was kind of heartbreaking honestly like i'm sure they're gonna find a way to get past that or at the very least carl is gonna find out what's happening but still i felt really bad for vanya and i spent the whole first season feeling really bad for vanya i don't want to spend the entire second season also feeling bad for Vanya, you know? Oh shit, the alcohol is kicking in. <sighs> Just give me a moment. <laughs> Luther was also kind of frustrating in this episode. I really don't like when any of the characters are like, oh, the apocalypse is coming? I don't fucking care. I'm like, dude, you guys have fucking superpowers. At least try to stop it, you know? But on the plus side, he did have that little talk with Diego, and it seems like uh, he's not gonna just totally bail on the group. <laughs> So sorry, I'm so sorry. But at the same time, it's really frustrating when all six, seven characters, if you count Ben, which technically you can't because Klaus won't even tell them that he's there. It's just really frustrating when all the family finally gets together and you're like, all right, here we go. Everyone's gonna team up and figure out what the fuck's going on. But you have the problem of people seeming to just not give a fuck. Like, the end of the world is coming and Luther just wants to walk out. Like I said, I'm glad that he at least um, talked to Diego. They had that moment where they're like, all right, we're on the right path. We can figure this out and just stick with us. And it seems like he did. I just get really frustrated when any character is like, oh, the apocalypse? Ah, fuck it. This episode more than any other definitely made me feel like the Swedes are actually not the bad guys. Like, yes, they're obviously doing very bad things and they're working for the commission, which isn't great. But just the way they grieved for their fellow man makes me think that they're not all bad and what they're doing does have more of a purpose than just serving the commission. Or at the very least, it will mean more than just serving the commission at a certain point. I'm sorry if I'm slurring my words. I am a little drunk. Just so everyone is aware, I am not doing this drinking game anymore. <laughs> I am not a drinker. I am very drunk right now, and I don't necessarily like to be. <laughs> On to the technicals. Uh, I don't think the cinematography was bad by any means. It was very good. But again, I don't feel like there were a whole lot of really standout shots that just really stole the show for me. Again, that's not to say that the cinematography was mediocre by any means. It was very good. But there just wasn't anything that really, really stood out to me. Maybe that's because I'm drunk, so forgive me for that. In terms of story, this episode wasn't really for me just because so many characters were making really frustrating decisions. Not everybody, but a lot of them were, and I understand that in any good story, you need good conflict and there needs to be obstacles in their path, including themselves, to get to the goal that they need to get to. But for the most part, it seemed like this whole episode was everyone just making rather shitty decisions. <laughs> Editing and pacing, I almost think this episode went by a little too fast. Like by the end of the episode, I was genuinely shocked that that was actually the end of the episode. But I vastly prefer a fast paced episode to a really slow paced one where I'm just 
waiting for the end credits to roll. I just kind of feel like they maybe should have had one or two more scenes after that just to wrap it up a little bit more. The music in this episode was really, really good. I don't think there was a single moment where I didn't enjoy the music that they were playing or thought it interfered with the emotions that you're supposed to be feeling in the scene. I suppose if I want to get nitpicky, the only moment I didn't 100% like was when Vanya, Klaus, and Allison had their little, you know, dance party. I don't hate that scene by any means, I actually really enjoyed it. Like there wasn't really a major purpose to it other than, oh this is fun. But aside from that, I thought the music was very well used in this episode. Overall, I'd give the episode another 7.5 out of 10. Definitely not my favorite, but definitely not my least favorite either. Typically my favorite part of any show is how well the story progresses, and I feel like this episode didn't seriously falter on that matter. It was a lot of character development, but at the end of the day, they did set up a lot of stuff for the next episode, which I can't be really mad about. And they left almost every storyline at a point where I really, really wanna know what happens next. So yeah, definitely not my least favorite episode, but definitely not my favorite episode either. And that's about it. This is when they meet.